Alright, what's up guys, Xenon here, and uh, today I'm going to be making a Viking early game video, kind of like the Ling one I made a couple videos back. So, Viking, Viking early game, basically your job it should just be a pain in the ass to literally everybody. Okay, so I'm going to go top, hit this Reaper, if he comes it's not a big deal. But, basically what you're going to try to do is just constantly poke. I mean, you have, what, 6 range, and your Q is art used to be. It's not that good anymore. It's still solid, though. One of the best moves, spells in the game. And pretty much, you can deny anybody you, you're against, like, in general. I mean, I maybe, like, a Marauder, would it, I would say, would be the only thing. Even if they have a lot of creep clear, you can kind of kite, kite, kite just like that back. And if you're against Zerg then you can, it works out too. So, yeah. Uh, the item, I mean items, usually with uh, for items at least, you're going to run out of mana early in the beginning game. I just kind of go uh, pretty much play by ear. I usually like to get at least one level of mana and at least speed and side disruptor so they can't get away. And we're going to say Thor. That won't be bad. Thor is pretty slow, which can help. I'm going to last at these marines. Got him. And basically, just like that, if you can't um, deny, just last hit, and because that that works too. So for abilities, ability-wise, you're gonna want to go Q, and then personally, I like to go E. I mean, basically, every Viking build is gonna involve you maxing Q first, and then try to max these as you go. But I like to get at least two levels of E and one level of W, because what that lets you do is, as soon as you hit level seven, you can start creep clearing, like. You can creep clear kind of with one level of E, which is Rip Wave, which is what gives you the splash in the air, if you didn't know that. But two is really kind of okay, especially once you get through your set. So you're going to see here, I'm going to level one in a second after this wave. I don't know why I didn't get there, but I didn't. And I'm just going to start constantly hitting Thor, constantly. And he's going to be doing that. That's all right. If he wants to play it that way, well, I'm, we're just going to get pushed a little. Because honestly, with Viking, the way to actually beat it is just creep clear. <laughs> I mean, Viking can't. I mean, I can get E, but Rip Wave won't kill the Marines, and the Thor, I'll be really vulnerable to ganks and stuff like that. But now I can just start constantly doing this to him. Just constantly. I'm gonna take some damage. It's alright if I have to go back. He'll have to go back too eventually. I might even ask for a switch for somebody you can creep clear, like uh, Tank or somebody. But that's alright. Just gonna keep playing here. I don't know why Dark Trollin. I sniped them by the way, and the host didn't move me down. See, I was I was coming kind of close there. I'm actually gonna buy a tank because at least for me, my purpose purposes, I really like to get tanks with Vikings. And I know a lot of people don't, but basically, I just put it right there and just troll and troll and troll people. You see, like thrower is really overextending there. Put it, put my tank right here, and I'm just gonna start hitting. I pocket a tank as two. And what I do is I just aim for the center of the Marines. And so now if he ever tries to creep clear, by the time the Marines get around right where this box is, they'll be done. And this is how I like to deal with creep wave as Viking, is just do that. It works really well. I lost my bunker, and that's not a huge deal. Thor had Thor to go back. I really didn't lose a lot of XP from it. The only bad news about getting a tank is like right here, now that Thor's back, I want him to lose some XP. But now that I can't control, like I can't turn the tank, uh, hold fire on the tank. But that's alright. Uh, I'd rather get the farm and that the tank provides than uh, let the Thor get a little more feed. Now, let's see that. Yep, Thor's back. It's doing the same thing, just going to target the Marines. Thor can attack me only once, but if I'm targeting the Marines with the tank, it's going to be alright. Target the Thor even. Because you just got to constantly be retargeting with the tank because you can control it. Yep. And I'm just going to attack this. This is interesting, actually. He's going to die here. Made a stupid mistake. See right there. That's how you punish it. He, that was the tankiest hero in the game. And he had an all-in on this uh, all in on this tank. And so basically I'll just let you go through my thought process there. I looked down. I saw I had at least 60 mana. So that's enough for about a rip rave and an assault. And then I used my buyback. I didn't want to waste my rip rave because I can deal damage later on. And I wanted to get him right in this corner, which I did. And after I got him in the corner, I knew I'd be okay. See, just port right there. There's no point in staying. And I'm going to get pushed now, but now that I have a kill on him, it's alright. 
see, level 3, I'm level 3 too, so it's not a huge difference, but it really upset the power balance that he gained early game. See, just doing a lot of damage, you might be able to kill him here again, yep, I'm gonna get him. See, just stuff like this, people, even Thors, they overextend against Vikings. If you, As long as you can stutter step and constantly keep damage on him and rip wave to catch up with him and do deal a little bit of extra damage, you're gonna be fine. So you see I went Q, E, Q, E, and now the rip wave, I'm doing that more at this point just to get more range so I can deal more damage, and I'm doing it just to less mana in general, so I have to don't, don't have to go back as much. And like I said, it's going to pay off immensely when I hit level 7. He can, do, he can deal damage to me here because I'm going to go back in a little bit anyway. I don't want a rip wave to do damage if I haven't done anything yet, if that makes sense. Like, I'm going to rip wave away right here before he gets his thing. Look at my mana. Don't have enough. I'm constantly watching my mana down here. My first item I'm going to buy is going to be mana. Because, as you see, I run out really fast. And especially once you hit level 7 and you're flying and you're constantly draining mana from that, you're definitely going to have some mana to constantly be feeding with E, uh, W, and Q. So I'm just going to keep on poking, just like I've been all game. Last, Trying to last it as best I can. It can, it can get kind of tricky, but if you can do it, you will get a lot of extra money. He's already back. It's kind of weird. I'm starting to get a huge level defense, difference on him, too. Like I said, keep using your Q. It can get kind of last hit. I pr personally, I prefer to poke over last hitting when it gets when you get to a um, land scenario like that. That's me. Um, usually, your Marines can get up. It's not a huge deal. I usually like to get feed more from kills over uh, creep early game at least. Yeah, of course, this all changes as soon as you hit level seven. You should completely change your mindset. You should no longer be poking. You should be going mid and taking double waves for a solid ten minutes. Unless your team is getting like a mega push, right there. You can also dodge like lockdowns and stuff with the rip wave. It's pretty cool, and especially D web, you can get out of that, which can be nasty. He's gonna get me here. He won't kill me because rip wave, we just stuff like that. Nice and easy. Second item I'm gonna buy here is gonna be weapons. Don't have enough money, but I already had a port. I was low, so it doesn't really really matter. I'm not gonna not buy it over something. Look at this huge wave. He doesn't really know what he's doing. The rains are still going to be there. I can still port here, but I don't want to waste the money. Okay, I'm going to miss too much XP if I don't. And at this point, I have enough rip wave to, I think I can kill marines. Yep, there you go. So that should tell you, as soon as you get level 2 rip wave, you can start killing marines. So if you ever get in a big pack like that, just rip wave them up. They do it right here again. Nice and easy. And now, careful. Once you get level 6, don't buy another episode of rip I mean, episode. Huh. Don't get another level of rip wave. Get cherry bomb. This is the key. If you get Cherry Bomb, you'll be fine. Now, I'm doing something risky there is I can use Cherry Bomb to delay that. And the risky thing I was doing there is I wanted the feed over the over the um, levels. So, okay, Reaper's coming out now. See, Thor's dropping really fast. Holy crap. We, we can kill him here. Don't know what he's doing. It, you see, the really thing that like really bugged me out about that, I thought he was level seven. I, I think you guys tried to see me like click on him. I thought he was level seven, so I was like, oh, like he's just gonna go um, revive and like that. But I really don't understand why he went in there. But like I said, just keep queuing heroes, queuing here. Okay, level seven. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ping top. Okay, and I'm gonna start coming mid. And so that's pretty much early game. I'll make a mid-game video, it'll probably be in-house later, and that'll teach you how to pretty much play late game and gank with Viking, but this should, this strategy of just constantly poking and my item and uh, ability build should get you pretty far off as Viking, you'll be kind of set throughout the entire thing, I'll just show you how to take a wave, just go like that, queue it, maybe kill Dark, I oh, didn't get him, and that's it, uh, so see you guys next time, keep checking the channel for updates, we're going to be posting a lot more, I've been talking to Dark, so should be fun to see our new content coming out. And that's it.